Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 4 and look at that for a family. <laughs> I like how this one's face fills up the entire thing. And then we got the dog prioritized over the 12 babies here. <laughs> but at least now we actually know how many babies are in there. Let let's go take a look at the house. Jesus Christ, their family photo. <laughs> it looks like the worst sitcom ever. Uh, Netflix would still probably take it. Ah, uh, yes. The horror continues. <laughs> While Turk is good intentions, this is an absolute shit show. I love how they harmonize, though. It's like a symphony of torture. <laughs> I think even Turg knows that this whole thing is going wrong. <laughs> when he just continues eating his Fruit Loops. God, the way he eats is kind of terrifying. I've only seen him eat applesauce up to now. It's bad because I, I want to get this person out of the bed, but I don't know which one it is. I genuinely don't, and I can't seem to find- Okay, got them. I think- just to make things a bit more interesting, because we want these to grow up. I, I think they'll just get taken off me if I don't age them up. So I'm going to force age them all up. How did I just get a cheer there? <laughs> Someone's giving me bits. Speaking of which, if you haven't already, go follow me over on Twitch. It's in the description. Oh, I can't force age a baby. Shit. They are all going to get taken off me, like for sure. It's going to be survival of the fittest here. And I don't feel like Turg is going to make anyone fit. His genetics aren't built for it. If he was born in any other time, he would not have done well. <laughs> Maybe like prehistoric caveman would have been okay because then he doesn't need to understand anything. He's trying to make another baby by the way while the other lady cries about that. <laughs> what you wanted another one? Really you wanted to be picked for this? Don't look in that mirror. Honestly you don't want to see what you are. <laughs> Even though honestly she is not too affected by the mod. Like I mean when you look at the others. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I, I just went into Turg's view to see what one of the others actually looks like. Turg don't look away you're not allowed. <laughs> Holy shit, that is terrifying. Chunky. What did you just call Chunky? Oh my god, that's so feckin' scary. Can someone care for the children, please? <laughs> like, they're just ignoring them. This doesn't seem right. Wait, age up? Can we just age them up immediately? We can, what the shit? Go on, Turk, use your magic to force age up these babies. Oh, feckin' hell, 10 aged up. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna make them all wild. <laughs> this is a big mistake. Oh my god, I think my eardrums are gonna explode. I'm getting the women to age them up now because he just didn't seem to be capable of doing them all. But like, I don't know who's who, so they're getting to age up babies that aren't even theirs. <laughs> Honestly, they probably don't even know which is theirs at this point. Due to neglect, one is being whisked away to safety. No, they were the last one <laughs> to be aged up. Which one's one? <laughs> Hold on, where is one? <laughs> okay, maybe that was for the best because I actually lost them. <laughs> age them up, come on, age them up before any more escape. Escape. I don't think that's how you should talk about your kids, but you know what I mean. Come on. Okay, we only lost one out of 12 so far. That's not bad, honestly. That's less than 10%. Any parent that's lost less than 10% of their children should get an award. Oh my god, and I'm getting a profit off of these. I'm getting 150 for each little pram I sell. This is a good money-making racket. You know, aside from like the piss and like the starving and all that. What the hell is she doing? Oh my god, she's demented. What is this? That was demented. What's happening? <laughs> what is it? She's possessed. Get away from that child. Play with eight. Oh my god, it's demented. <laughs> Honestly, those signs she's doing, you know what the- <laughs> Is really off-putting. I don't think she should be near kids. You see, th this is why I get demonetized. <laughs> oh my god, the poor dog. I'm sorry, dude. This is gonna be rough on you. You were living alone here before I moved in and now it's chaos. And again, it's like so good for being happy. A new baby gives you two days of happiness and when one of your babies gets taken away, it's only two hours of sadness. Turg is the one sitting there with his applesauce and a little sippy cup. <laughs> None of the babies are being fed. They're playing with feckin' kitchen utensils. That fridge is sparking. <laughs> Something tells me this isn't a good place for a kid to grow up. Oh, they look very sad, or I can't tell if their face just looks that way. They don't look that messed up. Actually, mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe. All right, I'm gonna forcibly age one up and just see how they turn out. I'm very interested. Oh my god, yeah, they, they look horrible. I'd be crying too. <laughs> oh my god, the poor thing. <laughs> All right, now that you've grown up a bit, you can help take care of the rest of them. <laughs> She's running away. I don't blame her. He's looking for a little toddler's toilet. <laughs> Again, it's probably for him. They're just walking through walls now. The, the game 
game is so feckin' messed up. They don't understand what's going on. I've never seen anything like this. Oh my god, what's happening to your dog? Turg reached parenting level one. <laughs> Unless that was a demotion, I don't understand how he got there. <laughs> he is doing nothing. Wait, what the hell? Turg, your reputation is everything in the business world. It's not who you are, it's who you know. And you know the right people. We'd like to make you a business... What? Wait, hold on. I wanted I wanted to answer that. <laughs> I think they just offered me a job. I'm pretty sure they offered him the job of regional manager and I just missed out on it. I would have taken that. They're causing feckin' chaos. I like how their names are just like eight Turk. <laughs> all right, let me age them all up and see how they look. Then they can begin their real lives. They grow up so fast <laughs> and uh, in bulk too. <laughs> They're not really doing it in their own pace. They're all doing it at once. Oh my God. <laughs> I can see where they all cry as soon as they grow up. They go from cute little toddlers to these. Oh god, growth spurt. <laughs> An unfortunate one. God, if they're this bad already, imagine what puberty's gonna do to them. They can't seem to move. I don't- I don't know what's going on. They're all freaking out. They want to go somewhere, but they can't. Terrible. Did he just say Turk? <laughs> really sounded like it. They're looking at their own reflection and they're terrified. <laughs> Everyone is crying. They're all very upset. Even the parents are upset. It's like, how did I create this? Like, there's no surprise with this one. Like, I don't know who her kid is. Let's take a look at what she made. Well, Ten is just an acquaintance, so it must not be them. It was the one that was taken away. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's nice, actually. I'm trying to add a relationship with one Turg, and they're, they're all just in a line. Look, two Turg, three Turg, four Turg, more. Oh, why did five and six get flipped? What the shit is going on? on. Game breaking boggy, eh? Game breaking. One is not there though. I think maybe when they go for adoption, they're just deleted. I I don't know. All right, everyone go to sleep. Your first day of school is tomorrow. Get ready. Why are you all smelling her while she's sleeping? Okay, you just came in pissed all over the floor <laughs> and then left. Like they're trying to sleep. Really? You couldn't have done that anywhere else in the house? I've opened the doors. I think we've built enough trust that they're not going to just run off. They're self quarantining in this lovely little lot. Oh god, is there a queue for the bathroom? Is that what this is? Oh my god. <laughs> the first day of school is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> You're gonna have to get one of those machines that you get like a little slip of paper with your number on it. Number seven! <laughs> no, not you seven. You're number five in the queue. Number seven in the queue. So number three, you use the bathroom. There we go. I made a little patio for them. That's kind of nice. You don't have to really leave the property to actually, you know, take a fresh breath of air. <gasps> Oh god, I don't think it's that fresh. She almost threw up. To be fair, I think she's the one stinking up the place. <laughs> she's got literal stink lines coming off her. I know snowmen are probably, like, important to you right now, but do you not realize you have, like, 11 children in there <laughs> who really need some care and attention? Why are they all going outside now all of a sudden? I guess they probably want to know what it feels like. <laughs> this guy's very suave, isn't he? <laughs> but I just realized that most of them have never even been outside. They were born in this house, and this is the first time they're ever leaving it. Wait, a fire? Where? Oh, wait, the oven? What the shit is going on? I think she was the one cooking and then she just goes to sleep when shit goes down. It's like, well, I better be hitting the old dusty trail. <laughs> After you've set the house on fire. I'm definitely faking it. There's no way you'd sleep through that alarm. <laughs> Look at her just sleeping on the floor. If anyone dies, you're taking the blame for this. Turk, where are you? Why are you nowhere to be found? Where is he? Where the shit did he go? I can't find him. <laughs> I think he's run out on his family. Good lord, they're freaking out. And I can understand why. They're waiting for Turg to fix it, but he's not coming. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to go in there and extinguish it. I pick you and the person who feckin' caused this. There you go. Yeah, run back in and solve the mess you made. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. But Turk died. <laughs> Apparently. When did he die? How did he die? He's back, Turk the ghost. Okay, good. How did you die, Turk? We need a Luigi board to figure it out. I guess this is his way of getting out of being responsible for all these kids. All right, let's put his urn somewhere nice. Somewhere where he can look over the house even when he's sleeping. What are you going to do without Turk now, ladies? I don't know if there is anything you can do. He was the glue holding the household together and, well, now he's a ghost. I wish I could still get get that job as regional manager. That would help out a lot. Wait, are they going? Are they going to school? Is this it? Okay, off they're going. I was wondering if the boss would arrive or not. It's like, it's gonna look like a feckin' clown cow with all of them stuffing inside it. Oh my god, she fell asleep just as she was going to work. <laughs> Come on, the law needs you. Get going. Wait, what the hell? What is going on? Oh, there's gonna be a new addition to this household. <laughs> I forgot that uh, we impregnated another person. Why are they coming home? Some of them hardly even left. Did they get declined from attending school? <laughs> Why are you discriminating against my children, even if they're 
freaky. Fine, I'm gonna age them up into teenagers then. But first, I'm gonna scare them as a ghost. The principal is calling. Yeah, sure. What's up? What's up, dude? I think it's the kid answering it. And Derek is scaring the shit out of them. How am I supposed to control them all? They're all just reckless. It's as if they were all assigned to be wild. Look at them go. Like, isn't that disrespectful to your dad's urn? Oh my god, wait, you're a teenager. Why do you look like you're older than your parents now? Oh my god, that is unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, at least you're laughing. Oh my god, they're all so scary. Are you just taking after Turg? Is that why you're getting gray hair? <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, you have literally no chin. Oh, that's kind of cute. They even dressed up one of the snowmen. The snowman's getting more care than the children ever did. Jesus Christ, these are some ugly children. Oh my god, did you hear that? You could hear the splash of her falling asleep in her own piss. Oh well, someone's piss. That could be anyone's. To be fair, I shouldn't pin it on you. Why are you crying? Oh, because Turk's dead. Look, he's still walking around the house, though. Like, he's in the next room. He seems pretty happy, to be honest. He's like, Turk need no eat anymore. Turk happy. Why does he still have a hunger thing? What's he gonna do? Die again? Oh my god, her face. Oh, Jesus. This is terrifying. God, they're all walking home in a feckin' blizzard. Oh my god, one of them has fallen and can't get up. Honestly, they're probably not gonna live. It is a literal blizzard. But that kind of thing builds character. And it's aged them all up. What is it with the weak chins in this family? Like, you're definitely not getting it from Turg, are you? What is going on? Turg has strong genes though, they all have the same hair and the same terrifying eyes that kind of jut out. Yeah, this this is just scary. <laughs> she's scared of him, but she's just as scary herself. Like, Turg has a strong chin, look at that for a monster. But then you got other people like this, weakening his gene pool. <laughs> oh my god, everyone in this house has gone mad. Even though Turg had good intentions, I think he's conducted the worst experiment of all time. <laughs> They're barely functioning, just shells of people. With no chins. But that might be a good time to end the experiment. Anyway, I've, I think I've seen Jim lurking around in the forest and I think he might have plans to forcibly end this experiment. <laughs> oh well, let's not worry about that for now. <laughs> Would worrying help? Probably not. <laughs> so what's the point? <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna end the video there. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing how Turg's family turned out. I'm sure he's very, very proud. Uh, I mean, he's very low expectations. That's one thing we know about him. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching as always, folks, and I hope to see you next time. I have big plans in store for The Sims. <laughs> Alright, bye for now. Oh, God.